everybody, it's SparkleGirl00 and I am back from my trip and as you can tell by the title, I was over in England. I would also like to say that the UK trip was not really a vacation um, for three weeks straight every single night for like three hours. I did have a really big job to do that um, a lot of times was really stressful. But I'm really glad that I did it and that I was able to come and the last week that we were there we did get to travel around and that was kind of like uh, the vacation and we did a lot of fun stuff. So um, yeah, as you can tell, I can't go over there and not pick up some hamster supplies. So this video is going to be a hamster haul from the UK, yay! So I only went to one pet store while I was there because of transportation. Um, we didn't have our own transportation. Someone came and picked us up every night um, and they were really kind to take me like 20 minutes away to a pet store. But it was a pretty awesome pet store. Um, and also I wasn't able to get a lot as much as I wanted to literally buy the whole store up because, I mean, for one reason I had to take it all back in my suitcase on the airplane so I had to limit myself and I was like oof but um anyway I guess enough rambling and let's get on with the video so the first item is something that I have wanted forever and I tried to get it both times that I ordered from Viovet but every time I added it to my cart um it told me that my package is now too big I don't know why but they counted it as really big for some reason which isn't that big but um it is the Boredom Breaker Rainbow Bridge and it is so pretty. I love it so much and I was like, ever since I saw it, it's so punchy and pretty. And I finally have the Rainbow Bridge! <laughs> Yay! So the next item is another um, Boredom Breaker product and it is the um, Woody's Fruit Spinners and it is the Pear and um, I'm planning a summer themed cage and I thought these would go really nice for like a um, summer cage theme and it, what's really cool is it has this section thing so I can section it to um, the back of the tank. So next um, thing I got is this purple uh, hippo hideaway and um, I actually ordered this offline and I requested the pink elephant because um, I needed it for a certain purpose, um, but they didn't send me it. They sent me this purple hippo, and now I cannot use it for what I was going to use it for. Um, I already have the lion, but and the purple hippo is um, really cute, so I probably can use it still in like a jungle theme or something. I don't know, but it's so cute. Um, it's still disappointing though that I didn't get the pink elephant. I was looking forward to that, um, but yeah. <laughs> um, next is a little miniature water bottle and this is so cute and tiny and the reason I got this small water bottle was for the big cage when I travel um, because I want to make the bedding deeper and the water bottle is really tall that I have now even though it's technically small it's tall small tall <laughs> okay <laughs> anyway um, so yeah this one's really tiny so it works perfect for like a big cage so next um, is another rosewood product and it is the rosewood natural trio of fun balls and these were really cheap they were like two pounds fifty um pence which is like i don't know maybe four us dollars but compared to what the balls are priced here in america that was really good and it comes with these different um different types and they're really great because you have this type this type, which is really cool, sea grass, and then this kind. Um, and I know Bibbles will enjoy, like I push treats inside, and Zuzu and Bibbles really love these things. So I was really excited about these. Next is the Rosewood Boredom Breaker um, Flower Gnaw Garland. And this is so pretty. It has like um, pink hearts and little purple flowers. And I thought it would be perfect for like a girly, maybe like a shabby chic theme or a spring or just something like that. And it's so pretty. I don't know if any hamsters will chew on it, but I don't know if I'd even want them to because it's so pretty. So the next thing is um, the Rosewood Naturals Carrot Wood Roll. And it is just this little 
wood um, roll and it had this stuff with like different seeds and carrot and stuff and I know Pimples will love this because he loves food and I thought this would go really great in a few things that I have in mind so yeah that is so cool um next uh, we have the small and furry nibbles um, bark and bites and these are I got these for a theme that I'm doing hopefully soon <laughs> and it's just these little bark bites and then the Burgess XL Gnaw Sticks and these like these little logs and these are perfect for that same thing that I'm planning and I thought they would make really cute little logs or something but yeah that's just what they look like next thing that I have is this beware of the hamster sign and I have always wanted this I thought it is the cutest sign and my mom loved it too she's like oh that's perfect for you you should totally put it on your door or something um, and it just has this cute little hamster and it says beware of the hamster and I just love it so much so the next item is something that I just fell in love with at first sight um, and I actually saw it online when I was looking at the pet store's website and I told my dad okay I have to go to this pet store no matter what <laughs> I have to get this this is the last one they have they said that I called them and they said that that was the last one so I was like can you reserve it for me please <laughs> um, anyway yeah and like when I saw it, it was like, had like a um, Sunstar, uh, what do you call it? it was like, uh, rays around it uh, sort of thing. But it is this little ceramic apple hideaway. Uh, let me get a little closer. And um, yeah, <laughs> it is the Tutti Fruity brand, I believe. I don't know, they just had it sitting out there. It was the last one. And it, uh, it's just this little apple. And this is perfect for like a summer or autumn theme and then the hamster can go inside and sleep and I actually think the bulls will really like this um, it looks a little small but I can tell that he'll he'll enjoy this and I was so excited when I saw this it's just so cute so the last hamster item that I have here um, you can't go to the UK without getting one of their awesome wood wooden natural hamster houses and I was trying to decide between several I can only pick one because of space in my suitcase um, and I picked this one because it looked really fun for the hamster. And it is this Trixie Labyrinth House Life. Hopefully I pronounced that right. But um, it is this wooden house and it's like a little maze hideaway sort of thing inside. Um, and actually in the plane, this thing kind of started to break. And I'm hoping I can like super glue it or something. But um, yeah. Um, it has this hole right here and then there's one on top and a little ladder that leads down and there's some rooms inside I actually haven't opened it yet um, but I'll go ahead and do that to show you what it looks like okay so here is what the top looks like and it just has this little hole Let's set that down before it breaks <laughs> and here is what it looks like inside um it has this little hole right here that you can fit the you the hamster can go inside and then it can go right here and it can either go out here <laughs> or it can go this way in here and then inside of here Hi. Um, and it just looked really fun and I know Bibbles will love it so that is it for hamster supplies um, I did get a few more but I'm not going to show you those yet because I'm probably going to save them for like um, hamster contest and stuff like that so yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i am back so i am back on my normal video schedule i'm also going to be working on q a sometime um yeah um thank you again for watching and i will see you in my next video bye